What's going on you guys, Sergio here, back with another quick little video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Airlift 3P or 3H management controller. Um, this uh, controller is the same for both management systems with Airlift. Uh, so basically just going to give you guys a little rundown on how to use it, quick tutorial, how to set up your presets, how to go to the settings, um, and uh, basically just how to use the controller in general. Uh, so first what I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to set up your presets. So what you want to do is when you want to set up a preset, you simply just press, let's say I'm going to set my airlift uh, preset, so that's going to be my right height. So press it once, and then you're going to see those green numbers pop up. Now what those green numbers mean is that that is what I have the current um, uh, ride height preset at. So right now I have it preset at, as you can see there, 46, 46 in the front, 49, 49 PSI in the back. Now if I want to change that up or whatever, then you're just going to press that and now you hold it and now the numbers are going to change into green and then uh, then you'll just adjust each one to whatever PSI you want that preset to be at. So you just press up or down for whatever bag you want. Now these two are going to be the front uh, bags and then these two in the back are going to be the, uh, the rear. So and then once you're ready, just uh, hold again and then whoops so once you're ready uh, you adjusted your uh, you adjusted your PSI or whatever then just hold again and it'll say saved and then you're ready to go and that's gonna uh, that's gonna apply for all the other buttons as, as well uh, so basically this is gonna be for me my higher ride height or when I'm going over speed bump blah 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 this is gonna be my uh, the, you know like my lower ride height and then this will be when I park air out and uh, this top button right here, that's so, so you want to air all the way up. Uh, you just hold on to this, airs up. And then when you want to air all the way out to zeros or however much you want to air out, just randomly, then you just press and hold on to that. So same thing. And now if I want to go back to my ride height where I was at, just go on to press once and then double click. So pretty simple. And now you see that the airlift button right there is blinking. So what that means is that it's still adjusting. And then once it's done adjusting, like you see right there, it stops blinking. And then that means that it's um, at the preset ride height. And now uh, something that I had trouble with at the beginning when I first got this controller is I had no idea how to go to the settings. So what you're gonna wanna do is press the airlift button and the button right, atop, uh, right on top of it simultaneously. Kind of hard to do with one hand but you press them both simultaneously and then that'll take you to the settings where you can you know adjust the uh, display settings uh, right there you can see let me focus the camera uh, back then you're gonna just want to press the airlift button to select or you press this top right corner button to go back to home so back uh, you have your operation settings uh, stuff like that just stuff so you can adjust the settings for your uh, management system and then just to go back home press that button right there and you're back uh, so it's pretty simple to use um, it's pretty easy to set your presets and all that stuff and then like I said uh, when you want to go to a preset you press it once the uh, the PSI levels that you have that set at for that preset are going to pop up and then you just double click and then it'll take you to that preset so let me go to my higher right height one one two then, it, um, then it'll go up to that button is flashing and right there it stops flashing it's all done uh, now right there my compressor turned on because I did air up so as you can see right here uh, my tank is refilling back up what that means right there 145 psi that's how much uh, psi I have in my air tank right now so obviously when you air up um, it takes some of the air in the tank and it puts it into the bags so then the compressor fills the, ba uh, the tank back up so um, that's why you heard the compressor turn on right there uh, so now I'm just gonna air out for you guys and if you guys have any questions uh, just comment down below I'd, I'd be more happy to help out and I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful to you guys hope you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace